hi guys welcome back in this previous video tutorial i show you how to create your own application in facebook and how to get your access token using your application and how to extend your current access token to use it for long time and uh, in this video tutorial i will show you how to get users uh, uh, post from his timeline using facebook api so let's get start and uh, let's create new project for this simple task and again we will create main class and click on finish now let's add a library into our project and click on ok now let me copy code from previous tutorial uh, I'm going to copy these two lines and paste it here okay we have Facebook client object and we want to get uh, users posts for this we can use connection container class let me import this class first it's from rest facebook dot connection and we have to import this post class as well okay now let's initialize this using facebook client object dot fetch connection and uh, again this function take two parameters first one is the endpoint and second one is the type of data which this request will return this request will return post data so that's why we are going to enter post class here like this and uh, the endpoint for timeline post is me dash feed okay uh, let me show you in graph api explorer if we go to graph api explorer and uh, type me dot me dash feed and you can see that it, it return all of my posts so this is the endpoint that we are going to use to get posts from facebook and uh, Consider this result as collection of uh, all posts that Facebook returns. Uh, let me show you example here. If we go to Google and search for Java, you can see that Google returns very large number of results uh, and uh, Google cannot show all of these results in one single page. So that's why Google save all of these results in pages. You can see that we have one page two page and three page consider this consider this result object as collection of all results and uh, from this uh, result we can get different pages and from each page we can get one post okay so result is the collection of all pages and um, each page contain different posts so let's uh, do this in code post page from results in this loop we are in this loop we are getting each page from all pages that simple and each page contains posts and in the second loop we will get each post from page 
like this okay and now we can simply access this object and get whatever we want um, uh, let me display its text a post dot get message like this and we can also display its link to a console uh, a post dot get get id and we can get concatenate this id to facebook dot com slash now let's run this and uh, let me count uh, all of my posts to this date in count is equal to zero and we can increment this counter to plus plus when we get each post and at the end we can display how many posts this request returns oops i'm going to use c plus plus syntax uh, println counter display some appropriate message number of results now let's run it and let's see what happens you can see that we are getting very huge number of posts from Facebook uh, let's see it will stop or not okay we got 589 posts and um, uh, all of these posts are made by me let me show you any of these posts uh, let's open this post I don't know what it is okay so you can see that uh, this post is made by me and we are able to get posts from our Facebook API. So that's all for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next video I will show you how to get posts from your home feed. Not from your timeline. From your home feed.